What's up my fellow geeks, Zaki here from Geek Culture, bringing you another fantastic video. This time, we will be taking a look at the ROG Phone 5. Whee! Now we don't only have the phone, but it also comes with compatible accessories such as this Aeroactive Cooler, as well as the Kunai 3 gamepad. So, let's go straight to the video. We will be playing some games on the ASUS ROG Phone 5. So in case, if y'all don't believe us, this is the ASUS ROG Phone 5 box. You can see here, it's the number 5 over here. And yeah, thank you ASUS for sending this to us. And we're gonna actually check out a few games, both free and paid. So let's go ahead and start with Call of Duty. So let's hook up the cooler to the phone. On top of that, let's go and double check our graphics settings, audio and graphics. So we could play on very high quality, but we won't actually reach the maximum frame rate that we can go. And since this phone has 144 hertz, we want to hit max. There we go. And this will take the graphic quality to high for now. So let's go ahead and play a game. Now you probably won't be able to see the full 144 hertz. YouTube has only output this at 4K, 25 frames per second. But I'm really experiencing very smooth gameplay. Speakers are also very good. Yeah, we're at less than half percent of volume, but it's it's really good and loud, very crisp as well. 31 by 9 aspect ratio as well. Uh, really makes a lot of difference when it comes to the controls of the game, especially when you're doing touch screen. And I uh, really enjoy the field of view here compared to the iPhone. Alright, there you have it guys, that was Call of Duty Mobile, so far so good, the phone is feeling nice and cool with the Aeroactive Cooler, so let's hop on to the next game. So right now we're playing PUBG, we skipped ahead uh, through the boring bits, we're gonna go to our settings, here you can see um, the graphics uh, we've played on smooth quality at extreme frame rate, which would give us about 120 hertz of uh, frame rate. So let's go ahead and play the game. Alright, winner winner chicken dinner. So, it's great. So that's it for PUBG. Let's move on to the next game. So the next game what we have loaded is Grid Auto Sport. And we've also attached the ASUS Kunai 3 gamepad. Now to answer some of your questions, does the Aero Active Cooler work with the Kunai 3 gamepad along with its case? Yes, it does. It's actually cooling the phone right now. Now what I want to do is to actually check the optimization for the phone. So we get to choose energy saver, graphics and performance. And we want to get the best of the frame rates here. So let's go for performance. There we go. Very nice and smooth gameplay now. Now, I'm not very good at racing games, but hey, alright, just to show you what this phone can do. Oh no! Playback, and that just. Yeah, that's there. Ooh, first person mode. Oh, this is slick. Okay. 
so it is quite surprising what video games can do now or mobile video games can do now and grid is one of the most um, graphics intensive games you can get out in the paid ad market so yeah I'm screwing this up a wee bit there we go maybe this works better Again. Now let's pause here for a sec. Now I'm pretty sure with a phone like this, you also want to see the optimization for high graphics so let's enable best graphics for this game now it is on 30 fps lock but you can see the graphics has drastically improved yes some first person view Ah, okay, I can't do that And let's go out again Oh, still crashed <laughs> The audio is still awesome on this phone. Yeah, so that's about it for a great auto sport. And let's move on to the next game. Alright, so we just loaded up Genshin Impact. As you can see, we're running at a high frame rate mode. This is what it looks like. The graphics looks awesome. There's light rays. The lighting of this is whoa. Yeah, it actually looks pretty damn good actually. We check the settings so we can actually show you the differences in graphics performance. This is the lower setting. It looks like it's 30 frames per second. It's alright. You get a little bit of jaggies. Uh, there's no uh, there's not much lighting or shaders. And let's turn this to the highest quality settings. Alright. And wow, okay, let's also 60 FPS. And oh gee golly. Wow. It looks really good. So smooth. Check out that frame rate. Damn. Right effects and even the particles here let's try and do this that looks pretty neat yeah let's go outside for a little while and so we can show you a little bit more on the world and you can just see the viewscape of the place it looks super neat the game is very nice and responsive and because of the aeroactive cooler that we've attached, the phone is still nice and cool. Even though the game is pretty much overclocking the system right now, it still looks very nice and smooth. And let's do some combat. Very nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Genshin Impact. Very, very awesome. Wow. 
Hey what's up guys, Danish here to take over the gameplay for Mobile Legends because Zeki, as guest, isn't that very good at this game. Let's go. <laughs> GG G -G easy Beat that Zeki <laughs> And last but not least we are running dead cells as well Just check the options on the video And uh, we are running at no FPS cap Because we want to get the full 144 hertz. We also have a high resolution Pretty much enabled everything else uh, Just to maximize the power of the RG Phone 5 So let's go ahead and play the game Very fast loading times. You can see that after playing all of those games, that the ROG 5 is really, really, really awesome. I mean, you got 144Hz display, you can play almost everything in ultra, in high frame rates, so you know you're getting the best of the best with this phone. Now, if playing all those games in the highest setting does not sway you to get one for yourself, then perhaps the benchmark scores for Geekbench 5, Until 2, and 3D Mark might entice you. Of course, you're getting the best of the best in terms of performance. And that means that comes in a premium price, starting from 799 euros, and it goes all the way up to 999 euros. And that all depends on your choice of memory and RAM. Of course, do check out the link in the description below for more details and pricing. Of course, do check out the link in the description below for more details, as well as our review. And of course, do let us know in the comments what game you would like us to play on the ROG Phone 5. And if you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing and smash that notification bell icon so you can stay updated whenever we upload new videos. Until then, this is Zaki signing off. Thanks for watching. Adios.